Facebook family, Facebook family, what is going on? Hey, listen, today is Monday and it's 12 o'clock and now you know what that means. It's time for Midday Manor. Come on and give God a praise. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord God forever because he is worthy to be praised. Hey, listen, I want to take this opportunity to wish everyone a happy new year, a very prosperous new year. Um, Blessings to you to you guys. Everything that your hands touch, let it prosper. Everything that you put your mind to, let it come to pass. Everything that God has placed in your heart to do for him in this earth, let you do it even right now, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, listen. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is the uh, first edition of Midday Manor for this year. Uh, I know it's been a little while since we are... Uh, did midday matter, but look, it's a lot of people that you know with the whole 2020 vision, my vision getting clearer. So, a lot of people may have wanted to uh, start a new relationship uh, with Christ, you know, um, want to change their life or whatever. So, I, I figured, well, why not start January 2020 with a new believers course? So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump into a new believers course. Uh, today, we're having to. Uh, the, the training on uh, at 12 o'clock, but normally it's going to be Mondays at 3 p.m. right here live on Facebook. So with that being said, let me go ahead and pray so we can jump right into it because uh, listen, all you people that know me know I don't like wasting anybody's time and I don't believe in wasting anybody's time. So let's go ahead and pray and let's get into it. Father, we thank you for having your way. We give you praise, honor. We give you glory even right now, Father. We bless you. We thank you that you will continue to speak to us, encourage us in our spirit, so that we may do everything that you have called us to do, even right now, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. <laughs> hey, listen. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys, spending some time with you guys here on Midday Manor. You know, like I said, on Mondays at 3 p.m., moving forward, that's when we're going to do it. But... As I already said, um, today we're going to start the New Believers course. A lot of people may want to change their life. A lot of people may want to do something different here uh, in 2020. So I figured why not go ahead and uh, start the New Believers course. Now this is a course that I created probably, I don't know, some years ago, five or six years ago, seven years ago. Um, but it's still relevant today. So if you are a new believer and if you are... Uh, wanted to go ahead and change your life, do something different. This is a course that will help you walk into your uh, new relationship with Christ. We won't get too heavy into the Hebrew. We won't get too heavy into the Greek and everything because like I said, this is going to be this is an entry level course to help you get started with your new relationship with Christ. So, uh, like I said a, a few minutes ago, I uh created this course six or seven years ago, and it's based on the book of Ephesians in the New Testament, based on the book of Ephesians. So listen, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, today I want to deal with man's state or man's place pre-fall, or what was man's state, what was man's place before the whole uh, garden uh, happened, the whole thing with Adam happened, the whole thing with Eve happened, the whole curse that came down. What was man's place before all of that happened? So in the book of Genesis, chapter number one, verse number 27, it says that, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female created he them. You know, like I said, this is just going to be a, a a basic elementary course so that someone that, that, that has not known Christ before can come into this relationship and have an understanding about who himself is, about who God is, and about who Christ is himself as well. So, as the Bible says that, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. The first thing that we want to talk about today is that, listen, you are a creation of God. You are a creation of God. God 
has created you. God created you with his own hands. Uh, you are created in the image and also in the likeness of God. One thing I also want to say that in Psalms 139 verse 14, it says that I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. Listen, I want to encourage you. I want to let you know that it doesn't make any difference about what someone has said about you, what someone has, uh, thinks about you, the things that you've done, what you thought about yourself, uh, low self-esteem. Uh, none of that stuff matters because you have been created by God. God spent time. God took time to, to, to create you. You are the workmanship of his hands. And because you are, listen, the Bible says in, in Psalm that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Listen, you can do it. You can make it. You are well able to do everything that God has called you to do. Listen, you can do it. Regardless of the situation and regardless of what has happened to you in the past and, and, and the things that are going on with you. Look, you can do it. I just want to uh, encourage you right there to listen, that you are fearfully and that you are wonderfully made and marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. Listen, you are extraordinary. You are separated by distinguishing actions. You are beyond one power. Listen, you are extraordinary. When God created you, God created you to be extraordinary. Ordinary. God created you to do everything that he has called you to do. Listen, and you are well able to do it. So like I said, the man's state or place before the fall, you were created by God in his own image and in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Like I said, this course is also based out of the book of Ephesians. If you have your Bibles, open your Bible or, or go to the book of Ephesians, chapter number one, verse number four says, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Listen, not only did he create you, not only are you the creation and the workmanship of his hands, not only are you fearfully and wonderfully made, but listen, God has chosen you. He chose you before the foundation of the whole world, that you should be holy and that you should be without blame and that you should walk in love. So in this new relationship that you may have started uh, this year, in this new relationship that you may have started with Christ, listen, I'm encouraging you again. The point that I want to make today is that you are created by God and, you, and that you are created in his image and, and also in his likeness. And also you are fearfully and you are wonderfully made. God had you in mind before the foundation of the world. God had you in mind before he even uh, 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 created the mountains, before the, 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 uh, the uh, fowl of the air and the beast of the field and the fish of the sea were created. God had you in mind. Listen, I said, um, Ephesians 1 and 4, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. That word chosen, it talks about to pick out. You were created, God picked you out, God separated you out, and he chose you for himself. So as a new believer, listen, I know that because uh, 20 plus years ago, I gave my life to the Lord on July the 4th, 1995. It's when I gave my life to the Lord, and I've been walking with him ever since. Have I made mistakes? Of course I've made mistakes. Have I blew it? I have completely just blown it. But the thing is that I understand that God chose me before the foundation of the world. And just like God chose me before the foundation of the world, he chose you as well. So being a new believer and entering into this new relationship with Christ and, and, and changing your life and wanting to walk in your destiny, what you have to understand is that God has chosen you and God picked you out for a certain calling or a certain calling that he placed on your life and he desires for you to do what he has called you to do you are chosen out of many 
You were chosen for an office. God chose you because you were judged fit to receive his favors and separated from the rest of mankind to be peculiar in your own and to be continually by or to, to be continually in his gracious oversight. Listen, regardless of what has happened to you in the past, regardless of the things that you may have done in the past, regardless of the perception that people have of you, you are a creation of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and God has chosen you before the foundation of the world to be, to be with him and to be in his family. That scripture also goes on to say, to be holy and without blame before him in love. God wants you to be without a blemish. But it's the blood of Christ that moves all the blemishes out of your life. It's the blood of Christ that moves all the shortcomings and everything that, that that's happened to you in the past. It's the blood of Christ that moves all of that and cleanses and washes you and purges you so that you may be pure, clean, and blameless and holy before him. But we'll get into all of that as well. Because, you know, like I said, this uh, this uh, new, new believers course. It's going, to, it's, it's, it's going to focus on the elementary teachings and the basics of a new relationship with Christ. So just to recap, being a new believer, you were born and you were created in the image of God. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. You were chosen before the foundation of the world to be holy, and to be blameless before him in love. That's enough right there just to stop. Listen, we ain't even got to preach no more. Just, I mean, listen, just, listen, if we can just understand that God has created us, God called us, God chose us, that we're fearfully and wonderfully made to walk before him, to be holy, and to walk before him blameless and in love. Oh, if we can just get that, that'll take us to the rest of eternity right there. <laughs> Yes, but being a new believer, being a new believer, also in the book of Ephesians chapter number one and verse number five, the Bible says, and having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So you also have been predestinated as well to predetermine beforehand or to foreordain or to appoint beforehand. Listen, when God speaks to us, we have to understand that, listen, God will say the same thing, but he'll say it in different ways so that different people and, and so that we can understand it. Because as I said a few minutes ago, that you were chosen, that you were called, that you are holy, that you are without blame, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And now here we see that, that God said that you have been predestinated or predetermined, foreordained or appointed beforehand. So with all that being said, this is what I'm talking about today. You are created by God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You have been chosen. You have been predetermined. So if we can just understand those 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 are uh, those concepts as being a new believer, then you can continue to, to to build on that foundation. Verse six says, "To the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted into the beloved. By grace we are accepted into the beloved." Listen, it's not by works that you gain your salvation. It's by the grace of God that you gain your salvation. It's by the grace and the graciousness and a loving, kind father that draws us by the Holy Spirit, by loving kindness. So listen, what I want to leave with you today, like you all know, I don't like to spend a whole lot of time. I don't like to waste anyone's time. We get on, we do what we need to do so we can finish out the rest of our day. But what I want to leave with you today, you have been made by God. You are the workmanship of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. 
You have been made to walk before him blameless and holy. You have been predetermined, but it's all by God's grace. Have you been accepted into the beloved? So for this time and for this first midday matter of 2020, that's what I want to leave with you. That's what I want you to, 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 to think about. Go back, read the scriptures that we talked about in the book of Ephesians chapter number one. Um, go back and read those scriptures. Do the study for yourself. And then we'll come back and then uh, we'll continue on next Monday at 3 p.m. Next week, we'll be talking about where man's place was. That God, not only God didn't, not only did God create man, but God also gave him a place to dwell, and that was in the garden. So next week, we'll talk about in the garden. So appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you. Uh, Midday Manor, back Mondays, 3 p.m., right here, live on Facebook. But listen, God bless you guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I listen, I, I, you know, like I said a few minutes ago, I look forward to hanging out with you. But until then, you already know. Let's go!